yes i did dye my hair um i was having a, a moment of crisis and i decided that i needed to dye my hair so it's a little bit redder i think but only where i had the whites so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel money reads where i talk about books and things and today i have like a kind of strange book chat video talking about the fact that i really don't buy a lot of physical books anymore and how that affects my channel how that affects my life how that affects my reading and you know maybe you find something of interest here the point is that when i joined booktube i started buying books and buying books and buying books and buying books and i live in a tiny apartment and i really don't have space to store all those books so what i was doing was i was donating buying donating buying donating buying which was not exactly the best course of action for me i felt like i was wasting a lot of money on books that i really didn't like and also i was wasting a lot of space and and just i realized that i didn't enjoy the reading experience of having a book open as much as i thought i did once i got my kindle and i realized how much easier it is to read on my kindle for me i decided that i just wasn't gonna buy any physical books anymore unless i read the kindle copy or the audible copy or the script copy you know audio or any kind of version of the book that wasn't physical and i enjoyed it so much that i wanted to own a physical copy of course this hasn't stopped me from buying books i still buy books but it's been so much less and i always think to myself just read it on kindle first in case you like it now there are of course downsides to this when it comes to the environment there are downsides to this when it comes to a lot of things but in the end i think we have to kind of accept that the world is changing and that not everybody has the space to just store books and i think that this affects my channel negatively because believe it or not people would rather i hold up a book at the end or during a book chat a book review or a book um what's that called vlog there we go <laughs> or a book vlog you know people would rather you hold up the book there is something tangible there is something interesting about a person holding up a book and being like here this is what i read but at the end of the day what if i don't like that book what do i do with it do i give it away of course i can give it away but i still spent my hard earned money on it i'm not a big booktuber i don't get sent books for free and also i you know i'm not like somebody that makes a lot of money that can just spend money willy-nilly and sometimes i think well you can just return the book if you read it right away but i think that that's really disingenuous when you return a book that you've already read and then it gets to be sold like new you know so i just think that for me going forward i would like to read more on my kindle and read more on my audiobooks and if that means less people subscribing to me and stuff like that i completely understand that i wish it wasn't like that because in the end it's like not only it it the kindle is an expensive device i'm when i say kindle i'm talking all ebooks i just have the kindle because that's how i can get the most out of my reading experience here in spain because they have the most english books and english isn't the preferred language that i read in but basically i just find it, it the device is expensive but afterwards the books are cheaper and also again i don't have space this is literally all the space i have for my books you have seen my book shelf tour which i will link up here if you want to see it i don't have space i literally cannot put another place here to hold books i could put books on the ground i could yeah i could do that but i don't want to do that you know i also have cats i don't want the cats destroying the books and in the end i realized that i've donated so many books which is wonderful i think it's wonderful that that i'm donating books but at the same time i don't feel like i'm getting my money's worth in the end you know i'm feel i feel like i'm basically throwing away money not that donating means throwing away money but i bought this book 
to have it to be like okay i want to have this in my collection and then i read it and it turns out that i don't well that kind of sucks because unlike a piece of clothing where i can buy it online try it on and see if i like it and if i don't like it then i can return it i cannot do the same thing with books because that is disingenuous that is not that is not in my mind that is not the right attitude to have you know just read a book and return it because you didn't like it i think that that is kind of you know cheating the system and and cheating other people because other people are going to pay full price for this book expecting a brand new book and it will turn out that it's not that it's an old book that somebody has read not that there's anything wrong with that but they should be paying the price of an old book not of a new one if you know what i mean so i just don't know how you feel about it is this something that you think about is this something that you'd say oh my gosh going forward like i would i would love to i would love to have a space like a whole library to myself you know but at the same time i just don't know how that would work unless i i made a lot more money and i was able to afford a bigger space and in my tiny little house we just don't have that space between the two cats my husband and i we just take up a lot of room and books take up a lot of room and i realized that i've had so many books that i've donated that i just don't want to keep doing this whole thing you know it's like fast fashion when you're over consuming fast fashion i again i think not consuming fast fashion is actually a privilege i've talked about this before we're not gonna blame people that do not have the money to buy a 300 euro sweater when they can buy it for 20 somewhere else but with books yeah i can buy a bunch of them but then if i'm just donating them and some of them i'm donating them without even reading them because i bought them on impulse i bought them because i saw the cover and then i read 50 pages of it and i'm like this is not it for me you know so it's a little bit different with books um and then of course when i have it on my kindle i pay two three euros which is very different from playing 20 euros which is a hardcover copy or you know sometimes 10 euros which is you know less than half so and and then i have my script subscription which is nine it's less than nine i think nine euros per month and i have a bunch of new releases and stuff like that that i can read for free which is where i mostly read my books by the way if you were wondering i mostly use scribd so yeah i i hope that i wish that the booktube community would accept the fact that not everybody has space or time to read books physically um that's another thing i i i work a lot so it's taking a book with me it means putting a book in my bag which means putting extra weight on me when i can just take my kindle or my phone and it's you know this big when i'm reading even if it's an 800 page book so yeah i wish booktube wasn't so quick to click out of video simply because the person has to put up the cover of the book in post-production instead of having it physically with them because some people just can't and some people i i i don't have the ability of um checking books out from my library with my kindle i mean i think i do but the selection is pretty narrow and it's not the books that i want to read so you know but a lot of people do have that ability where they have an ebook and they can check out books from the library and not have it physically you know so i just think we need to i wish booktube would like disconnect itself from having physical books means more views because that leaves a lot of people um out hanging because not everybody can afford to buy physical books and if you're thinking yes but there's secondhand shops and all of this of course there are in the united states and in the uk i can't go to a secondhand shop and find i don't know the the newest or any brandon sanders or book in english you know usually i can't I, I might i might be able to i said brandon sanderson because you know he's the messiah of booktube but most books i can't find in english and most new releases would be impossible to find impossible to find in secondhand shops not to mention how much money i have to spend 
to go to where these secondhand bookshops are because they're not where I live. I live in a small town outside of a main city. So I would have to spend about, between my husband and I, we would have to spend 20 euros just getting there to get secondhand books. So we're already spending a bunch of money. So with that being said, I, I, I have no point to this video really, just saying that Whenever you see a booktuber hold up a book that will not hold up, when you see a booktuber not hold up a book, I hope that you're not quick to judge and quick to like click out because oh they don't have the physical copy and you know it's and it's nice to hold up a physical copy but sometimes you don't have those so that's my little rant for today. I honestly had no video thought out for today, so I thought, you know what, turn on the camera and speak because I'm working on other videos that take a little bit longer and I've been kind of busy this week. So yeah, that's my rant for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've made it this far, please leave a black heart. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you stay, I hope you like, I hope you subscribe. And if not, well, Thank you so much for watching anyway. And without further ado, I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post three times a week, or at least I try to, and that I appreciate each and every single one of you who I will see in another galaxy far, far away. Bye.